I Chef Pal today welcome you all to Taladaral's kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you a recipe that can be enjoyed in tiffin and trust me I have enjoyed it all through my childhood days and the name of this recipe is Jatpat Alu Roll. So basically this roll is like a frankie. It has some sweet chutney, green chutney, a potato stuffing that I'm going to be make like a cutlet and then some chaat masala and onions and rolled it up and eaten and it tastes yum. So let's see how this is made. We'll start by making the potato mixture. For that I've taken some boiled and mashed potatoes. To this I'm going to add some green chili paste, little chaat masala, little garlic and ginger paste this is optional some chopped coriander lemon juice and this is bread i have taken a bread slice i've dipped it in water and squeezed it out so i'm going to be adding that this gives little softness you can also use little bread crumbs in it very little sugar and salt and we will mix this well Spice will depend upon how spicy your kid can actually eat it. So adjust it accordingly and mix it well. As you can see, our potato mixture has been mixed well. Now we'll shape them into rolls. So now we'll take one portion of a potato mixture and we'll make a oblong shape like this and flatten it as we are not going to deep fry them. If you wish, you can, but I would say it's okay to cook it on a tawa as we are going to be doing that. So in the same way, we'll make the remaining rolls. So all our rolls are ready. Let's cook them on a tawa with little oil. So I've put the tawa to heat. We'll grease it with little oil. Make sure it's hot enough before you put the rolls on the tawa. This is very, very important. Otherwise, your rolls will be soft and they will stick to the pan. Yes, our tawa is hot enough. So we'll place all the rolls. We'll put some oil on top. And we'll cook them on a medium flame till they turn golden brown in color from both the sides. It has been cooked from one side. We'll allow it to cook from another side. We'll add little oil if needed. Let's check if they're cooked from the other side as well. Yes, it has been cooked. So our rolls are ready. Let's transfer them onto a plate. So let's proceed to the next step. To make this jatpat roll, you can either use leftover rotis or you can use semi-cooked ones. I have used semi-cooked ones. So I'm going to be showing you how to make one roll. So this is a non-stick tawa and we are going to cook one semi-cooked roti with little oil till it's golden brown in color from both the sides. You can use oil or ghee, anything that you wish to. Make sure as you are going to give this in a tiffin, you add oil on all the sides. Otherwise, it will dry up and your kid will not enjoy eating this roll. But make sure you do not even make it really crispy. So our roti has been cooked. As you can see, I have not cooked it till it's really, really brown in color. You want that light brown. So we'll put some chutneys as I said. So I'm going to be putting a little sweet chutney. As if you're going to put this in a tiffin, make sure you do not put too much. Otherwise, it'll get really soggy. But make sure you also put it on all the sides. To this, we'll add little green chutney. These both chutneys are always available in our homes. In case they are not available, you can always make them prior. And to know how to make these perfect recipes, we have videos on both of them. We'll place the aloo roll. We'll add little finely chopped onions. This is optional. And chaat masala. And we'll roll this up tightly. So, a quick jatpat roll is ready. Wasn't easy and quick and tasty too, trust me. So, in the same way, make 5 more rolls. Allow them to cool completely, pack them in an aluminum foil and put it in that dabba and I'm sure they'll gobble it up during school. 
So my childhood memories are getting back and I'm getting really tempted to try this. I'm going to be picking up two rolls and eating it just right now. Till then, you go and fill it in your kids' dabbas and enjoy it. Download the Tarla Dalal app on your Apple and Android devices. Follow us on the Facebook at tarladalal.com. If you enjoy our recipes, click like. To see more of my recipes, click here. Please share your comments. I would love to hear them. I'm waiting for them.